Today I am showing you guys how I make my seafood boil so saucy and juicy. So first is what I do is I take the corn, I throw it in the sauce. Um, I'll write down in the comments what I use for the sauce, blah, blah, blah. So I basically put every side in the sauce and I dip it. Here's the eggs. I'm putting the eggs in the sauce. Like I said, I'll write down below what I use for the sauce so you guys all know. Um, so I'm making off my potatoes right here. So, and I'm gonna cut them. And if they're small, I put, cut them in half. If they're bigger, I cut them in about threes or fours. And I just throw them in the sauce and put them aside to the plate. These are how they look when they're done. Then I take my snow crab out and I'm going to divide it evenly into four pans. This customer wanted four. Um, yeah, that's for me too. Four plates of seafood boil. So I'm going to just divide them and I put everything in there. At the end, I'll go ahead and I'll add more. ICAG here, a cool little vinaigrette that I love, made from a lot of liquids you got hanging out in the door of your fridge. You got a jar of pickles? Just steal a tablespoon of the juice from the jar of pickles. If you have a jar of capers, steal a tablespoon of liquid from the jar of capers and a tablespoon of balsamic vinegar. Actually, let's put two. Good stuff. And then three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil on top of that. Now, you can whisk this together. and get kind of a nice thin-bodied broken vinaigrette that's really nice drizzled on things like roasted eggplant, tomato salads, whatever else. If you want a little bit thicker, but those same notes with a little bit of mustard added, just add a tablespoon of mustard. Mustard has a nasty- What's up, I'm a plant-based dietitian. Here's how I make my oh-so-fudgy four-ingredient brownie. It's so easy to make and it's one of my favorite snacks. My secret ingredient is sweet potato. Soak it, put it on a plate, and put it in the microwave and cook it for three minutes on two sides. Meanwhile, in a blender, add almond butter, maple syrup, and cocoa powder. You can also add salt, but this is optional. When your fork goes easily into the sweet potato, that means it's ready. Cut it open and scoop it out. Add it to the blender and mix it all together. I got a little carried away and added some dark chocolate chips, but this is optional. Pour the mix into a pan lined with parchment paper and bake it. Perhaps is going to start smelling delicious. Pull it out when the edges are slightly dry and let it cool before eating. This will make it firmer. Enjoy! Let's make the best grilled cheese together. Fourth a cup of mayo and some minced garlic. Mix it up. In a separate bowl, mix a fourth a cup of cream cheese and some shredded cheddar cheese. Add a little bit of heavy whipping cream. Mix that up. Add some kosher salt. Then take some sourdough bread. Add the cream cheese mixture. Two pieces of medium cheddar and provolone. Then add the garlic mayonnaise. Cook on medium heat until it looks like this. Then prepare to have your mind blown. It is. Let's make pizza. Thank you for 4 million. That's 1% of the US population. That's a lot of people. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Flour your cutting board, then place down your dough and shape it however you want. Add your sauce, some mozzarella cheese, and don't forget to paint your crust with butter and add a little everything bagel seasoning. Bake this on a pizza stone until golden brown. Yep, that's right. I did it in a heart again. That's a slice of heaven right there. This is the lemon pound cake recipe from Starbucks, but so much better. First, take a loaf pan, spray it with a little oil, and then flour it. You only need one bowl, so grab a large one and add three eggs, one cup of granulated sugar, eight ounces of sour cream, or I used Greek yogurt. Whisk a lot till it's nice and smooth. While you whisk, drizzle in a half a cup of oil, Add in two tablespoons fresh lemon zest and two tablespoons of lemon extract. The smell is on point. Finally, add a cup and a half of flour, two teaspoons baking powder, and a half a teaspoon of salt. Now mix until it's just combined. It will be a little lumpy, but aren't we all? Pour into your prepared pan and bake at 350 for 50 minutes. When it's ready, let it cool for 30 minutes, then turn it out onto a cooling rack. Once it's fully cooled, then you'll add on a lemon glaze. All it is is powdered sugar and lemon juice. That's it. It's surprisingly simple. My friends and family love this recipe. They thought the texture and flavor was professional level. Follow me for more recipes just- This two minute strawberry pie is the fastest strawberry pie recipe in the world. Uh, probably. All you need is a cup of strawberries, diced, add it into a mug, add your powdered sugar, mix, and grab some canned biscuit dough, plop it on top, microwave for 90 seconds, or until the biscuit puffs up just like that. 
add powdered sugar and enjoy. You had all good intentions when you bought those. Still good, forget the banana bread, let's make these cookies. Choose two of the most beat up bananas you got and mash them up with a fork in a bowl. Two cups of coconut flakes, I picked the sweetened, but you can do unsweetened if you want. Put it in a dry pan and toast it up real good with a little pinch of kosher salt, but keep on mixing it and moving it. Then add it to the bowl and with a little dash of vanilla and mix it like that. Then you're gonna grease a cookie sheet and you're gonna use, I used like a little ice cream scoop and just scoop them on that sheet and put them in the oven for about 25 minutes at 350. Then make some chocolate sauce with just pick your favorite chocolate. I like the semi-sweet morsels. Heat them up in the microwave and then I add some coconut oil to it so it gets nice and drippy like that. I use a pastry brush and I just drizzle it over. It doesn't really look that pretty yet, but you shall see. And they are so good. Door in the fridge and Ooh. Hey guys, so I saw this TikTok account that made this drink called Giggle Juice and I don't know about you, but this is exactly what I need right now. So I'm gonna make it. So first we're gonna get some strawberries and cut them up into thin slices going horizontally and now we're gonna put them in our wine glasses and we're gonna do the same with the lemon except I'm cutting these into wedges and now we're gonna put those in the wine glass. Next we're gonna put 30 milliliters of vodka which basically equates to an eighth cup of vodka into the glasses and earlier I made these ice cubes with blackberries in them so now we're gonna put those in there too. And now we're gonna pour some Moscato in there. I'm not really measuring this part, I'm just vibing. Ooh, this is so colorful. And finally, we're gonna top that off with some lemonade. Okay, so based on the fact that this literally tastes like juice, I'm gonna say this is pretty dangerous and I would drink with caution. Hey y'all, I'm making some Mississippi chicken for supper. So I've got four frozen chicken breasts in the bottom of my crock pot. Gonna add in a pack of ranch dip mix, which they had spicy, but I went with what I know and like. Gonna get that in there after struggling for a minute. Then I'm going to add a pack of au jus gravy mix. Gonna dump that in there. Try to get it more even. Gonna use my hand here and don't worry, they're clean. Gonna pour in a jar of pepper rings, juice and all. These are mild and we love peppers in our house, so more the merrier. And this is where you would add half a stick to a stick of butter, but I had some garlic spread in the fridge and figured that'd be more flavor. Gonna get that in there, mix it all up, get it good and coated, put the lid on it, cook it on low for six to eight hours or high for about five or six, and you can shred it all up, eat it as is, or with mashed potatoes or whatever you enjoy. Hi guys, if you're looking for a super easy dinner idea that will please everyone in your family, try this barbecue bacon chicken. Start by cutting three boneless, skinless chicken breasts just like this. You're going to season both sides with salt and pepper and a little bit of barbecue sauce. You guys, this would be a perfect low-carb keto dinner. I add shredded cheddar, cooked bacon, and caramelized onion to the top. So start by layering your onions, your bacon, and then your cheddar cheese. You guys, these were so good. Pop in the oven at 350 for 20 to 25 minutes, and it's that easy. I'm going to show you how to make crispy baked cauliflower with oatmeal. Add a cup of oats to a blender and pulse this to make oat flour. Add this to a bowl, along with two tablespoons of plant-based milk, two tablespoons of olive oil, and a teaspoon of some spice mix. Now you can start breaking apart this cauliflower head. Add them to the oat batter. And once everything's coated, bake these for 20 minutes in a 400 degree oven. And I'm gonna coat them in this sweet soy dressing. Now I'm just adding it to this veggie bowl. It's good. It's very good. <laughs> <laughs> Enough with the turkey shenanigans already. These beer battered fish tacos are what's for dinner. Let's eat. Cut your cod fillets in half, then season with garlic, pepper, and a little lime juice. Crack open a beer, pour it in flour and a little paprika, salt and pepper. Heat your oil up to 350. While that's heating up, make a quick slaw with jalapeno, lime juice, sour cream, Place your fish into plain flour and then into your batter. Fry your fish till golden brown and delicious. GBD. Beat your tortilla drums until they're cooked. And then build your taco deliciousness. I just smashed a taco already. Let's make a super brookie. Right, I'm using pre-made cookie mix into the bowl. You need 
one egg, tablespoon of vegetable oil, stick of melted butter. All right, time to get our hands dirty. We're gonna take this cookie dough, we're gonna put it along the bottom of this Pyrex here. But now, here's the game changer. Assist to my man Hundo. Reese cups on top. All right, box of brownie mix. Half cup vegetable oil. Two eggs. Three tablespoons of water. Mix it up. All right, we're all mixed up. Time to pour it over top of our cookies and our Reese cup. All right, spread it out. 350 oven for about 20 to 30 minutes. Are you kidding me? Serve that with some ice cream and enjoy. Here is the best low-carb fried rice you're ever going to have. Now let's go. Basically, you just want to take like two to three eggs in a bowl, add some fish sauce, whisk that together and set it aside. In a skillet, add a little avocado oil with one small white onion, two cloves of garlic, and saute that till it's translucent. Add a bag of riced cauliflower on high to sweat out all the moisture. And add a cup of peas and carrots and get that heated through. Add a splash of toasted sesame oil. We're gonna use some Bragg Coconut Aminos. This is the best brand. Add enough until the color looks like this and push it to the side. Add some butter, scramble up those eggs, mix it together and add some fresh bean sprouts and you are done. Don't forget to hit that like and follow button for more keto recipes like this. This video is dedicated to my British followers because we're making mushrooms on toast. Now let's go. Go ahead and clean and thinly slice your mushrooms. I also have oyster mushroom. These I'm just gonna tear. Smash up garlic. Mushrooms go into a hot, dry pan. Dry meaning no oil or butter. After five, six minutes, we're gonna add butter and some olive oil. Keep that heat high, continue to saute. Tiny pinch of salt. Sergeant Gilbert. When those mushrooms are starting to brown, tilt the pan over the heat and add your garlic into a little oil. Just be careful when you do stuff like this. When that garlic's nice and golden, turn it back, add your thyme, followed immediately by the cream. Turn the heat down, some Parmigiano Reggiano to taste, and the secret ingredient. Ooh. Shout out to Gordon Walker, <laughs> fascinated by <laughs> fungi. He's awesome. <laughs> He's tagged below, give him a follow. Am I gonna be okay? And finally, your parsley. Let's plate up. Sourdough bread with butter and some coarse grain French mustard. Finally, your mushrooms. Oh my. Mm. <gasps> 10 out of 10, that's ridiculous. You know.